was in the land easement has back in the late 60s and mm -hmm. it was less than hundred dollars an acre mm -hmm. and Tom he, he had a little country store and they said we'll put a neighborhood out here you'll get all kind of business never happened mm -hmm. but anyway um thanks for coming in the store <laughs> appreciate okay. it thank you for all your help love y'all still here yes ma'am thank you how long you been shopping here Ooh. My oldest is 43, so since he was four or five, <laughs> at least. Yes. Nice. Yeah. What'd you get today? All kinds of fun stuff, I hope, for the little grandchildren. Got some some dinosaurs. Dinosaur, yeah. They shoot sparks out the front. Froggy. <laughs> Frog prints. Frog prints. Air hockey. Yeah. Three minute fountain. Yeah. Patriotic Skybuster, Roman Candles, Buy Two Save 30, Air Hockey Hero, Psychic Powers, you got the canister shells, you got the firecrackers, more fountains, America's Fountain, World's Highest Fountain, uh, Wedding Sparklers, and then you got the Patriotic Skybuster and two of the Three Minute Fountains. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, my family started out in the convenience store as well in, in 1949. So. About that. Yeah. yeah. We're in his granddaddy's house now. It was built in the late 30s. And we were the first family to put heating and air in it. Wow. So wow. we still do in the house. <laughs> but if you go to the state house, go upstairs, like you're looking over Main Street, look to the wall directly to the left they got a monument in there to one of his ancestors that a little girl that rode through sherman's line she had a message and they sent somebody to search her so she read it ate it couldn't find anything let her go and it was one of the only victories in the area because of her you used to be in the south carolina history books and they took it out and said there wasn't enough documentation on it but they still have the monument to her so yes. she ran through the line and what happened? She went to go through Sherman's line and they stopped her. They didn't think they'd stop a young lady. And they did and put her in a, a room to where a woman could come search her. So she read the message she was carrying, ate it. They found nothing, so they had to let her go see uncle, you know. And she got through, I don't want to say General Green or somebody, but anyway, got the message to him. and. One of, the, one of the only times Sherman was defeated around here. Wow, wow. <laughs> so was, some neat was, history. Was that yeah. right at the river or where, do you know it where was, the battle was? I don't was, know or? where it was. Um, I don't know. His family used to own what's Granby. And that, Granby, okay. some handwritten reels from great, great granddaddy. Might be another great in there. On this side of the Orangeburg to the banks of... Um, Congaree to the forts of the Dutch River. And he would leave so many acres and so many slaves to this child, and so many acres and so many slaves to that child. Wow. Yeah, yeah. we had a, um, a dairy farm that was, that was, they confiscated part of it to make uh, Fort Jackson. Oh, I can cut this off. So we That's have neat. a similar history where yes. <laughs> we've yeah. been, and they had dairy cows, yeah. and um, um, now it's uh, King's Grant. How about that? Imagine yeah. if we owned the yeah. land for King's Grant. That would have yeah. been something. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I said if he kept one acre's out at Dutch Square. I mean, really. <laughs> one acre. <laughs> one acre's all it take. <laughs> you ready to go? Well, thank yes, you so I'm much sorry. For coming Thank in. you. We do. Thank you.